welcome to another uh one of, well another channel update um so um i've been thinking about of a way to better manage um i would say um any updates if i have any um if you want to i don't know chat about a game you like or the game design or something 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 of that nature or if you want to collaborate or something like that i was thinking of um getting another social media account just to manage uh that aspect of the channel since i'm not quite you know there on youtube to use the social media function since i'm not way near 1000 subscribers for that to um to be enabled so uh, i was uh, throwing around options um about uh what social media platforms would be best suited for um what i'm looking for for you know basically my needs and you know i was considering you know um if i should make an account on twitter or discord or facebook and stuff like that and uh, in the end i uh, ended up going with reddit um and uh, just a heads up, um, for some reason it doesn't show up over here, even though I already linked it up. So you can either read it on the description over here, specifically here. Or you can find it down here where it says links and you see my Twitch and Reddit and you click on it and it should uh, bring you towards, um, towards my page. Um, so, so far with the Reddit, the only thing I have is that... Um, it won't allow me to make my own subreddit because I literally just registered today um, at around one o'clock slash midnight. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I just populated with some content just to get, uh, you know, this profile going. Um, but I was thinking that maybe, I don't know if it's a good idea, but if um, after 30 days pass by and if I get... Apparently, you need to get some a number of karma over here. I don't know what the heck it means, but because I'm new to Reddit. Um, but uh, apparently, once 30 days pass by and you get a certain amount of karma, you're able to create uh, your own subreddit. I'm not sure if I should or not, since you can actually obviously follow me as a user to get updates or to participate, you know, in whatever social media... Um, I post or if uh, I post any questions or like open up discussion pages, you know, um, you can, you know, you see it obviously over here and um, can participate. Uh, with subreddit, I feel like anyone can actually post because I'm not sure if people who are not me the user can actually post on my page which is why i was considering making a subreddit instead and if you for example have something you want to share you can use you can much well much easier do it there but you know i gotta do with i gotta i gotta do with what i have over here um so the reason why i chose reddit um is because um a couple of things one I don't actually like Twitter as much, mostly because it's more of a short form content, and um, you can you can literally tell uh, tell that because even the posts, um, the amount of characters you include per post, is extremely small and limited. And for me, um, as a YouTuber who likes to make long form content that are like forty minutes long, you know, also because I play games that. Uh, that require more of, um, I would say, thinking long, I would say much longer attention span than what most people are used to when, when it comes to social media. Um, I am, I guess I'm more uh, into also discussing stuff when I play video games uh, sometimes, or just making jokes, awful, uh, really, really awful puns and stuff like that, that are so bad that they're so good and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, so, um, when you take that into account on Twitter, I just don't feel like it kind of matches kind of what I want from my channel. Um, so in terms of that, Twitter is out of the game. 
Uh, Facebook, I'm not particularly fan of Facebook either. I mean, it's more of a like, oh, you know, keep track of your friends and uh, I don't know, your classmates or co-workers, if you have any. Um, you know, to get in touch occasionally and uh, browse if, you know, if they post any pictures and whatnot. So, um, not really a big fan of P Facebook either. Um, Discord, I was considering Discord. But I felt like Discord was more for project management and uh, I would say um, chatting both through text and a microphone as opposed to actually social media community management. Um, so that also kind of went out of the window. Reddit on the other hand seems to kind of fit in all my criteria for what I actually want from um, a social media page um, and it's not I, f I feel like it's not as limited on how long your post can be as Twitter and I don't remember if you can make super long posts on Facebook either so it seems to fit in better and also you know for example you can message me if you want you know, or if you uh, want to you know collaborate or something like that you can always throw in a message and I'll probably respond um, at least more often than um, on YouTube. Because on YouTube it's a very awkward when it comes to that. Um, because sometimes it's spam, so you can't tell <laughs> how true, um, well, how real the, the user is. And it sometimes may clutter um, below the video and stuff like that. Um, which, as I said before, it's kind of awkward in that regard. Um, so this is pretty much, anyway, as I said before, my Reddit, how it looks like. And I already started making a, a very small list of what games I usually tend to do. So if you're new to my channel, you know, I guess you can come over and, I don't know, say hi or something. Um, the other update is that, well, first of all, this is my Twitch. It's not much to make out. And, oh my gosh, it says, welcome to the chat room, like, 12 times. Wow. Um, but, um, yeah, this is my Twitch. Uh, and... Um, uh, I am gonna be finishing Gothic pretty soon. I estimate in about, let me think, four to six episodes, somewhere around the beginning of April, maybe before or past April 1st. Um, and, um, I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but, you know, I have some hardware problems, so I'm, I'm gonna be doing some stream testing especially stress testing my computer if it can both um, run um, a, well, a well enough quality game while streaming at the same time. Um, specifically, I was thinking to try and see if I can stream Elex. Um, mostly, well, well, just to test out before I actually do Gothic 2 if it works out. Uh, mostly because for Elex, um, the issue is that for some reason, when I launched it on my computer without any recording, it was very laggy. Well, actually, no, I'm lying. Uh, I did try to um, use DX Story to uh, record Elix just to test out how it would go, and it didn't work out with DX Story. So I'm th but I didn't try with OBS's lossless codec, however. So I'm thinking that maybe um, it may work out, and if I put the game on all low quality, well, after, obviously, after I defragment my SSD, um, if if it works, then it will be hooray. If it can run Elix nicely, it might be able to run Gothic 2 well enough as well with the streaming. Uh, and also, I'm going to be doing a test stream just to see um, how it's going to go, because I have a wireless Wi-Fi. Um, I can technically see if I can pull through a cable and connect it to my computer, but... I don't think I can because I have a computer that only has Thunderbolt 3 slots so I have to connect everything to a USB hub so that I can actually use you know the normal mouse and keyboard and I don't see anywhere a connection for um, for the internet on my laptop so I'm kind of wondering how it's gonna go if I try to do wireless obviously it's not as stable as wired but um 
I'll never know until I actually test out. So, and uh, ha and I'll make sure I'll post it on Reddit over here um, as a heads up for when I will be planning to do a stream. So that you know, if you want, you can hop in and help me out and let me know. Hey, you know. Is there any delays, latency issues, or stuff like that? And what I'm planning to do is I tr plan to stream to Twitch. And if I understood correctly, um, Twitch is able to then sort of like put it on my YouTube. So first when I stream, it goes to Twitch specifically. And then Twitch, um, I guess on their end, they um, put the video on YouTube simultaneously. So that kind of gives a, a bit of load off of my computer so, since I have to stream only, only to one service and then that service just copies over the video to YouTube. Um, so that's going to be great if it works out. And on YouTube, um, what I was planning to do uh, is to, um, uh, to basically edit the video after I, I've finished streaming by um, deleting parts where I'm either taking breaks, for example, I need, I don't know, the restroom or get water and something like that. Because, you know, it's gonna be, uh, I'll probably be sitting for a while since it's a, it's a stream, maybe, maybe for more than an hour. Um, on the other hand, um, I might be splitting up my stream occasionally so that, um, on YouTube it appears to be episodically. If not that, then I'll just, you know, split up the video on YouTube, you know, because you can do that with their uh, video editor now. Um, get a copy of the video and then just split it where you want it to be. I can do it that way as well, but I'd prefer to do just everything in one sitting, just because I can plan out my uh, work and uh, life schedules around that. So, uh, yes, that's... Um, what I'm planning. Um, I actually, honestly, I don't know how to how to stream. I mean, I did set up my OBS just in case for streaming, um, and I did watch some a bunch of videos on YouTube um, that recommend um, certain settings for streaming. But I'm aware that, for example, uh, when it comes to streaming, because I did watch some streams before, especially of uh, um, of uh, Let's Plays. Um, I did notice they make, uh, they made content as in, uh, images that say, for example, um, the stream begins soon, or there's a little break, or intermission, or something, something, something. I don't have that yet, and I wonder if I can make those stuff very quickly, and if I'll be able to do that before, um, the beginning of April. And to check out how that actually works, because I honestly don't know, like, does it stay on Twitch or does it go through OBS specifically? Um, so that's a bit of uh, uncertainty on my part. But um, even if I won't be able to do, I don't know, those images in time, I'll just do, I don't know, just a black box with like text, random text of intermission, proceeding, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and stuff like that. Um... So that's that. So if it works out, oh, hooray. If it doesn't, it's going to be a lot of figuring out what to do. I did find out that alternatively what I can try to record um, higher graphic games is to get an HDMI capture and instead just to um, record the screen. I'm not sure how how it goes for audio recording specifically because um, I record from computer and from my microphone. But in OBS, what I like a lot is that I can set up filters so that it cancels out a lot of background noise, um, especially some mouse clicking and stuff like that. Or if, for example, um, my phone is vibrating, I notice that sometimes it doesn't get through my recording, but um, on the later videos, for some reason, it's been, uh, my microphone has been registering it, uh, specifically the OBS has been registering. Uh, my phone's a timer, so I wonder if it glitched up a bit on me or not. Um, we'll have to see, actually, um, about that. But anyway, but it's uh, uh, the point is obvious at the moment for me is the most ideal software for recording um, both uh, streaming and non-streaming. For non-streaming, I'm doing compressed videos uh, only for adventure games because then um, I'm able to run the game, you know, without any complications or um, stutters. 
it doesn't really work when I test it out on Gothic. Um, the first time I tried to do Let's Play of Gothic 1. Um, so uh, I know that it's not gonna work. Um, not unless I get an eGPU or something to um, take off the load. Or um, since I have lots of RAM, I don't know how, but is it possible to force OBS to sort of like store all the data in the RAM and just slowly make compressed video? I don't know if it's possible. Um, but that's uh, an idea I had um, and that my dad also suggested if it could be made that way. Um, and I wonder if it's going to work out well for streaming in that case. But anyway, I just have to test it out. Um, yeah, uh, so I'll have to test out that. Um, the reason is why I'm. Um, it might take a, a little while if I, if, if I do need uh, a hardware upgrade is mostly because right now I'm running low on money, you know, because of this coronavirus stuff like that. Um, everyone's buying toilet paper everywhere and water and uh, all the um, alcohol and disinfectants and stuff like that. So all the budget is currently going there and uh, it's, it's a tough place with work as well and um, things like that, so I might not be able to invest at all into anything as of yet. So, if that if that's gonna be the problem, then um, unfortunately I'll be stuck with adventure games before I run out of them too. I mean, I should be fine, because there's actually a lot of adventure games out there, so... Um, but yeah, uh, so that's that. And, uh, oh yeah, and um, I forgot to mention, but I sh uh, which I probably should have mentioned in the beginning of the video, but I finally finished with rebranding. This is, like, this is my uh, final um, channel cover, pretty much. And this is exactly how I want to portray, you know, my whole, um, I, would say, I, I would say my YouTube personality in a way, um, because... Um, it kind of fits, actually, with what I had in mind, and it fits with the name as well, um, I guess, and stuff like that. It has some symbolic meaning, too, in a way, if you think about it. Um, because, you know, the idea, at least well, first it started with a logo, and the idea behind that was to have sort of like a beautiful fire, but, I also, uh, but also somehow a face managed to fit in there, and it looks like, not quite like a fox face, but it's like a little... A little cutting, a little mischievous, and you know, mischievous is what I do sometimes, especially because I'm being mean occasionally <laughs> uh, in video games. Not uh, super mean, because you know, I feel I feel really bad when I do something like that in video games, so oftentimes. But I do like to joke around, to fool around, so I thought it was very, very fitting. And uh, the fact that you, you know, I have fire over here as well, expanding, and that it kind of looks like. Um, fire either burning or leaving scorched marks. And the, the fact that it's kind of like abstracted in a way, um, it's kind of like gives a, this more of a fire is powerful, it's beautiful, it's sort of like full of life, but it can also burn, unfortunately, and uh, stuff like that. Oh, I have a call a little too early. Um, not sure who it is, uh, but anyway, um, so I like that symbology behind it as well, um, because it kind of seems to be like sort of supporting the logo and, you know, the idea I had with fire is that, you know, fire is like passion, it's like passionate about maybe an idea or a hobby or something like that, and when I do talk, I do tend to get a little passionate about certain topics or certain video games or a bunch of other things or ideas, so... I thought it fit well enough, and I really like uh, this new version of, you know, the text and the fact that the logo sort of like goes in an arc out of the text. I really like that as well, and it seems to be like more organic. Like, if you remember the previous um, cover art, I mean, if you if you did, it's okay if you don't, um, if you're a new subscriber or something. Uh, but um, in the previous, I had similar lines in the font, but I just had... Uh, a normal font, kind of like, kind of like this one over here, without slaps. Um, and uh, I did have some like similar lines, like 
the A having a line going like this and the line and going like that and stuff like that. But I like it this way better because it's just it's more organic and it doesn't feel disruptive when you put it next to the logo as well. So um, that's another thing. Anyway, um, enough about design aspect of this. Although I, I will be very happy if you do want to talk more about it on Reddit. Hey, <laughs> and stuff like that. I like feedback. So, hey, you can uh, bring me over something or other. Um, or if you have any ferocious uh, puns or bad puns, I'll be also glad to uh, uh, look at them and, and maybe exchange some of my own if I come up with anything decent. <laughs> Because it's kind of like, um, I, I'm not always good at coming up on the spot with puns, but when I do, it's like, oh, it's like this aha moment. Anyway, uh, so this is pretty much it um, as far as uh, everything goes. So um, just uh, for the end notes, streaming, I'll update over here. You'll see it over here and it probably will go somewhere on my homepage, I assume. Yep, no. Yeah, somewhere over here, probably. I assume that's how streams go. Um, as I said before, it's going to be something new. So if you have any tips on what I can do pr to prepare for a stream or what I should do for a stream, not as in, like, oh, what kind of video game, but as in, like, um, any tips and tricks on uh, how to set it up properly, if you're experienced in that, in that area, um, or if you know what to expect as in what to troubleshoot or not, um, that'll be very useful and stuff like that. Um, anyway, guys, um, thank you for uh, listening to this very, very lengthy, quick, but not really quick update. Um, and uh, I'll see you maybe um, later <laughs> or in a video game or something like that or on the stream that I'm going to uh, plan out to test out. Anyway, thank you, guys. Bye-bye.